Timestamps are important and recommended part of a YouTube video that makes it easy for viewers to navigate to any portion of a video. This is really important in order to save time, especially for students who may be studying a video for exams. With the timestamps, you can easily move to any part of a video um, with one click of a button. Now, not all YouTubers put timestamps in their videos, but I usually like to put timestamps to make it easier for students so they can study different portions of the video. Now, how do you use timestamps on a YouTube video? The first thing you need to do is to navigate to the video. So maybe you have a link to the video. You just click on the link and then it takes you to the video. All right. Now, where you locate the timestamps is in the description of the video. So you just click on this button here and then it takes you to the description of the video. In the description of the video, you see um, sometimes you see some information, but when you scroll down, you see the timestamps. So these are the different timestamps of this video. You can click on view all and it shows all the different timestamps. Now, different YouTubers put different titles to their timestamps. Like for instance, me, I used chapters here for my own title, but you can put time code, you can say timestamps, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Now, um, how do you use the timestamps? This first timestamp says introduction to the course. Maybe I'm not interested in watching that aspect. I can see the next timestamp that says introduction to the module, and this starts at two minutes. I can scroll to what why is statistics important? Why study statistics? Maybe I've watched all of this before and I stopped at characteristics of statistical data. I'm just going to click on that and it takes me automatically to that portion of the video and then I play that and I continue um, to watch. Can I can go to uh, another portion. Maybe ah, I want to listen to uh, descriptive statistics and official statistics. I have statistics. an exam in the next one hour and, and that's just where I want to re revise. So I'm just going to click on it For and it takes me exactly there and all the I continue watching. We can use all right. That helps us to organize the data, helps us to summarize the data and helps us so to these are all the timestamps in the video. Graphs, now this will make your studying uh, easier. And I hope this will help you. That's all I have for it's you, folks. Descriptive and I wish you all the best. See you right. in the next video. But if we understand but that, until then, data is not, peace. Uh, sometimes we're not able to collect.